Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss a numerical example on shift reduce or bottom up uh, passing. This is this first solved example. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. Follow those particular uh, links so that you can understand the numericals on shift reduce passing. In this case, uh, we have been given a uh, grammar containing uh, three rules e, e minus e, e, e multiplication e, and the third one is e identifier. Given this particular grammar, we need to validate whether the input string that is id1 multiplied by id2 minus id3 is uh, valid or not. Also, we need to uh, draw the parse tree in this case. So, we have been given this grammar uh, and uh, the input string over here. Now, we need to apply the shift reduce passing on the top of these two things and then we need to see whether the input is valid or not in this case. Now, uh, I will try to perform that particular thing over here. We have three things. One is called a stack. Another one is uh, input buffer. And third one is what is the action performed in this case. Initially, stack contains nothing. So, that's the reason I have written just a dollar here. The input buffer is nothing but the input string, uh, which is ended with the dollar. The meaning is uh, once we reach the dollar, the input string is consumed entirely. Now, uh, initially, we don't have anything on the stack top. So, we cannot apply any rule here. So, we will uh, perform a shift operation of this particular first token. That is, id1 is the first token. We perform shift. So, we will get id1 on the stack top. The remaining content is uh, star id2 minus id3 will be placed into input buffer here. Now, if you see the stack content, uh, as I said earlier or in the previous video, uh, we can perform something called as a reduce operation here because identifier can be reduced to e in this case. So, we perform reduce by e id. This id will be reduced to e in this case. Now, the stack uh, input buffer content uh, remains same here. Now, uh, we have e on the stack. We cannot apply any rules here. So, we will try to shift the next token. That is shift next token. The star will be shifted to uh, stack in there. The remaining content is this one. Again, e star is the content uh, on the stack. We cannot apply any rule here. So, we perform again shift. Once you perform shift, this id2 will be shifted to stack and the remaining content is minus id3 here. Now, if you look at this particular stack content, this identifier can be reduced to e. So, that is the reason I have written reduce by e id. This identifier will be reduced to e. The input buffer content remains same here. Now, again, if you look at this particular stack uh, content, it contains uh, e star e that can be reduced to e again here. So, that's the reason reduced by e, e star e. So, that is what I have performed here. Now, what is present on the input buffer? Again, same that is minus identifier 3. And then uh, next we need to shift this particular next token that is minus onto the stack. So, we perform shift here. We got e minus. We cannot do anything here. So, we will shift the next token. So, I have written uh, shift here. We got e minus id3. Nothing is remaining on the input buffer. The meaning is entire input is consumed. We will try to apply some rules on the top of this particular stack content. If you reach the start symbol, the meaning is it is a valid string. Now, if you see this particular id3, it can be reduced to id with the help of eid. Now, we got uh, e minus e. Nothing is there on the input buffer. This e minus e can be reduced to e because we have a rule here. So, we got e on the stack top over here. What it shows is uh, we have consumed the entire input and then we got the e as a uh, content of a stack. The meaning is the input buffer is valid with respect to given grammar in this case. This is a very simple process you can apply so that you can validate the given input is uh, valid or not uh, with respect to given grammar here. Now, uh, we will try to draw the pass tree for this particular uh, input string. So, the first identifier uh, or a token in this case is id1, uh, which is shifted onto this particular stack. So, what I do is I will create one node for this particular thing that is id1. You can notice id1 is a terminal node. So, I have created a square box in this case. After that, uh, id1 was uh, reduced to e here. So, I will create one uh, non-terminal node that is e that will be represented with a small circle in this case. After that, uh, star was uh, shifted uh, into this particular uh, uh, stack here. So, star is a terminal node. So, I will create one uh, terminal node in this case. 
after that we have performed uh, again a shift that id 1 is uh, shifted into this particular stack here so id uh, 2 in this case sorry after this particular thing we have reduced id 2 to e here so we will create one non terminal node that is e after that uh, we have performed reduce operation that is e star e is equal to e here so we have created one internal node that is e with respect to e star e in this case after that uh, minus was uh, shifted uh, onto the stack so this is a non terminal sorry it's a terminal node in this case after that id3 was shifted here so i will write it here id3 this is a terminal node in this case and then uh, id3 was reduced to e in this case again it is a uh, non terminal node and then uh, we have reduced it to e here finally e minus e is reduced to e in this case so that is uh, nothing but e here so this is the final what we can say that the uh, pass tree we have got now if you look at this particular pass tree we have started with uh, the uh, leaf nodes and then we have reached the root and root is the start symbol here so uh, if we get a start symbol uh, the meaning of this particular thing is the input string is valid with respect to given uh, grammar in this case so it's a very simple process uh, you can apply uh, on the input uh, string and then uh, you can validate whether the input string is uh, valid or not so this is the solved example number 1 the link for other solved examples is given in the description below do follow those uh, in, uh, links so that you can understand the numericals on the top of shift reduce parsing if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching